Hey there one and all, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, so in the last episode we failed tragically in the secret mission of Bianco Hills, so in this episode we're going to open up World 2. Um, Alright, so we got to fight out, we got to fend off um, one of these goopy things, so let's trigger the battle here and get this show on the road. Okay, my goopy friend. You're gonna suffer the same fate as all your other compadres. I think he comes back for a second um, phase. Uh, yeah, he does. Okay, so this is the first enemy goopy monster that we've had to fight that comes back for a second time. Yeah, this is no different, really. It's just the same thing. It's just got drags out the fight a little bit longer. That's all. And this is where um, this house right here that's um, now rising from the ground is um, where you also deposit your blue coins. So you come in here and when... Um, well we won't be coming in here until we get all blue coins anyway because I'm just going to deposit more of them in one massive go. So when you come in here, when you get blue coins you come in here and you deposit them off and he'll give you shines for them. Alright so let's spray open world 2. Here we go, Tyranimo! Here we go. Episode 1 Goopa Blooper breaks out. <laughs> so obviously there's a blooper on the loose somewhere. Oh, he's all boxed up, caged up in some crates. Alright, there are some blue coins you can get pretty, like, straight up from the bat, actually. So there's one you can get here. If you spray out the end on the wall, there you have it. I think there's actually some on the roof, but I'm not sure if there's some. Um... Well, I, I imagine these are, like, changing rooms, aren't they? Or depositories. No, they're depositories. Yeah. Yeah, there is an M up here, actually. Okay. I'm gonna get that. <clears throat> if I can. There we go. What I also like about this game is that you can see other worlds from worlds that you're already in. So, like, if you're in a world, you can see other worlds in the background. Like, that's a world over there that we'll be visiting later on in the game. It's kind of intricate detail that is very appealing. Good game design. Game design. I believe there's a spider in here as well that um, that gives a blue coin if you kill it. But I don't know if it appears in this episode. It might do. We'll have to wait and see. Ow! How dare you do that. I deserve an apology. Oh wait, hang on a second. There's a hidden M under this greenish goop. Well, considering the other one was like brownish poop, I mean this is greenish poop, so someone's obviously having a bad diet here. <laughs> if they're pooping out green stuff, that's nasty. Okay. No, that's the wrong button, dude. It's the A button to press to get through the the um, gates. Yeah, I always get confused by that. If you're on the ceiling and you're trying to get through a gate on the ceiling, you have to press the A button, but if you're trying to get through a gate that's on the wall, you have to press the B button. So I kind of get mixed up pretty easily with that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite confusing. Okay, so there's an in here that we can get to. Oh, we have to dive under the water to get it? Oh, no we don't. Thank thankfully enough it was actually above the surface of the water so we didn't have to go diving. God, there's another M here as well. What the hell? M's are everywhere. Well, at least I'm getting recognized as Mario, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Let my name be heard, but not heard in vain. I think there's a blue coin in this crate over here, too. Yep, there is. 
So I have to kind of keep track of what blue coins I've got in this LP. Because I don't want to go back to, um, like, look at a list. Refer to a list and then, like, look at the list and be like, Oh, have I got this blue coin? Or have I got this blue coin? And it turns out, like, I go back to, um, like, for example, a blue coin that I've already previously gotten before. And it turns out I've already got it. But I didn't know that I had it, you know. So I've got to kind of try and remember which blue coins I have gotten and which ones I haven't. Otherwise, that's going to get really confusing. I think there's a hidden sewer under here as well that we can access. It'll save time trying to wall jump that. Wall up there. Oh, there's a blue coin above the fountain. I should go back and get that as well. Oh, hang on a second. Nope. I guess we can't because there's also a crate under th under this one here too, so we can't go through there. Um, well, I guess we have no option but to try and wall jump this then. Okay. Well, actually, hang on. We might not have to wall jump. Nope. It didn't. Pro it didn't project us high enough in the air to use our hover nozzle to get up this ledge here. Unfortunately. Ah oh, well. Yeah, if you use water against the bloopers, it immobilizes them, so it's a lot easier to kill them. Otherwise, they'll just start spraying their greenish goop at you. Okay. Blue uh, coin! Above the fountain. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be coming up to another boss battle here. As well. Um... Don't worry, it's not a goopy boss, it's uh... Well, you already know by the um, episode title name that it's a uh, gigantic blooper. <laughs> now this boss is another boss that also has two phases. So the first phase you have to spray him. With water. You, you kind I don't think you can actually go straight for the kill and pull his nose, you have to kind of pull his tentacles off first. But the main objective of this fight is to pull his nose. And then the cork will come out of his nostril. And then... And then the second part of the phase, you basically have to do the same thing over again on the second part of the fight. But I think he gets more agitated so he attacks more often or something, I don't know. So I'm just going to try and spray this goopy shit. Oh no, he's spraying goop at me. He was spraying goop at me just then. Ow! Hit me with your damn tentacles, dude. Give me a chance here. Throw a dog a bone. Even though I'm not a dog. <laughs> okay, let's try and pull his nose now. No, I see that he'll hit you with his tentacles. That's why you can't go for the kill. So I'm just going to get rid of his other arm here, if I can. I'm gonna get rid of this crap so that I can pull from a distance. Okay, now I think I can actually pull his nose here, because he can't attack us with his tentacles. And he's dead! 3, 2, 1, blast off! Even though he's in midair and flying over the sun and falling into the goop. Yeah, that's right. Go back into your own filth where you belong. <laughs> okay, let's get our shine sprite. That is number 10. Yippee, indeed. Now, I guess we could try and get go for another shine sprite in that level. Oh, that's World 3 over there as well. So that's the cutscene to indicate that we can now access World 3. But we have to kill another one of them goop monsters again. To, to access it. Um, we're not going to do that now. We're going to try and go for another shine sprite here in World 2. Before the episode is over. Uh, Blooper Surfing Safari. Yeah, we can get this done. This is actually quite a quick shine. Um, we just gotta basically go through a racetrack using bloopers. So it's basically like pick your racer. You have a number of bloopers that you can choose from. 
Yeah, you have three bloopers actually. Yeah, you have three bloopers. One of them, like each blooper has their like their own stats. I think I always go for the green one for some reason. I don't know. I just prefer going for the green because he has actually quite good steering, and the speed of it is really good too. All right, so I'm getting close to the screen now, so I can actually see where this blue coin is. There it is. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, you can't hide from me. And there's two shines you can get in here as well. There's one for doing it in a fast time, and then there's one just doing it normally. But this one that we're going to be doing now is just the normal one. So we just try and get through the track. I think you have to do it in 40 seconds to get the original shine. And then... Or maybe it's a minute. It might be a minute. Yeah, I think it... I think it's a minute to get the original shine, and to get the fast shine you have to do it in 40 seconds, if I'm correct about that, which I think I am. You don't want to crash into anything because that's instant death, instant fail. So try not to crash into the wall like I'm about to, almost. <laughs> that was a close shave. That was very close indeed. Okay, now we shall reap the, the reap the rewards. Shine number eleven. Uh, yeah, we've already seen this cutscene before. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end off the episode here anyway, guys, and uh, I'll continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. Um, I think we're going to check out World 3 actually in the next episode because I kind of like World 3 and World 3 is really fun so we're going to go to World 3 in the next episode. So until then this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in my next video and goodbye.